Okay, eggs are hot. Volunteers, please stand by any open spots and raise your hands if there are any. But I don't think there are. <laughs> Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to the live stream of the USA Jigsaw. We're in San Diego, which bills mm -hmm. itself as America's finest city. Oh. I know a few other cities may <laughs> beg to differ, but that's San Diego claimed it first. We are just minutes away from kicking off the second of our two pairs preliminary rounds. I'm Jeff Whittle, and this is my co-commentator, Valerie Coit, one of the co-founders and board members of the USA so ours now <laughs> such close finish in the last pairs round and we had this crazy slate of amazing pairs and then here we are in preliminary round number two and again we have a, a just a really strong strong group of pairs so this is going to be really exciting and we're going to cut to Allie here in a moment where she's going to do some announcements and then we'll be getting started soon and by the way, there are only four second difference between the first and second place pairs in the first preliminary competition. Yeah. Could be that close again this time. That was a real nail biter. Very fun to watch. Yes. So we'll run down some of those power teams, power pairs that are competing here in this round mm -hmm. in just a few minutes after we get everything kicked off. Yeah. All right, welcome everyone to the USA Drinks High Nationals 2024 Pairs Competition. We have the second pairs prelim today, right now with 100 pairs, so 200 people in this room puzzling their hearts out. 50 of you, uh, 50 of your pairs will advance to the finals and you will be doing a 500 piece puzzle in your bags here, don't open your bags. Um, those, you'll have a two hour time limit to do those. Uh, we're gonna run through a couple of quick rule reminders and then we'll take a really short break and then we're gonna announce things. Uh, when we do the break and then we do the countdown, it's gonna go really quick. So when I do that, uh, or when we take that break, don't go anywhere. So quick rule reminder, like I said, don't open your bag, but when we do the countdown and say go, that's when you can open your bag and start puzzling. Seals on your puzzles should be opened. If for some reason there are seals on your puzzles, don't try to open it, just raise your hand and a volunteer will come over to you and we will make sure that you're, you're, you're not penalized on your time. Uh, as you get close to finishing your puzzle, there should be volunteers nearby uh, that probably have an eye on you if for some reason there's not someone neat. Once you've completed the puzzle, we need you to throw your hands up and celebrate your finish and also to let us know that you are no longer touching the puzzle, you are done with it. The volunteer, there will be a volunteer to come and record your time, and you can check your time and you're standing across the hall uh, on the screens there or on our website. You are allowed two trays, uh, 16 by 24 inches, no more. You can have less, I don't care about that. <laughs> if you're uh, missing a piece, there's a 10 second penalty if you can find it. If you can't find it within 10 seconds, we'll stop your time. You don't have to keep searching. If you find it sooner, we stop your timer sooner. Keep an eye out. There may be a yellow piece of paper on the floor with your puzzle piece on there. If the volunteers happen to find it, it lets them know that, they've, that someone's found it. Don't step on it, kick it, things like that. If after two hours you have not completed your puzzle, we will do a countdown let everyone know, hands up uh, when the time is complete, and then we'll have volunteers come by helping to count up how many clusters of three or more you have completed, and they'll count up whatever is left, and you will still get a standing regardless of finishing. Um, for our spectators, just a reminder to please not lean on the walls and accidentally turn off the lights. You don't make friends that way in the puzzle world. 
And you're always welcome to stop by the room across the hall to see up close live stream or even upstairs in Kensington if you're a convention pass holder. Uh, one quick reminder to be an awesome puzzle neighbor with the shared tables. Please don't make any kinds of noises or tapping or have headphones on too loud. We want to make sure that you're a great neighbor. Immediately everyone started bothering their neighbor. Um, okay, so we are going to... Um, one more thing is as, the, uh, as we have the first six finishers um, complete their puzzle, please hang out for just a few minutes and we'll announce the teams and we'll, we'll say more from there. So we're going to take a really super quick um, minute or two break. Uh, we're going to start right at 12.30. Uh, so hang out and be ready for a quick countdown. Thank you so much, guys. Get excited. From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know And we are back live at the USA Jigsaw Puzzle 2024 Nationals. I'm Jeff Whittle, and my partner is Valerie Coit, and we want to thank you for watching on YouTube today. Mm -hmm. We are offering our live stream viewers a chance to win a prize. Viewers at home can go to usajigsaw.org, click on the live stream prize banner on the home page, fill out the entry form, and enter the keyword puzzling for a chance to win some amazing prizes. That keyword again is puzzling. We'll announce the winners of the live stream raffle tomorrow during mm -hmm. the closing ceremony. That will be live streamed between 3.30 and 4.30 p.m. Pacific time. One entry per keyword, but there's 16 keywords throughout the weekend. So keep listening in and viewing us to uh, increase your chances of winning one of those prizes. Yeah, like I was, I've was, i mentioned in a few of the other uh, streams, we're going to have puzzle packs, puzzle boards, uh, sub, uh, six month subscription to completing the puzzle, lots of great prizes there for our listeners. So just a little extra little tidbit in there. I mean, it's already reward enough that you're getting to watch these amazing people into getting a fast. I hope you enter. Competing in this room is pretty. The camera room are good. We have 50. So it's a good. You know, people are more interesting with a, some action. Getting into that. A little more serious. Mm -hmm. The live stream. The Reuters. Only by four. Me is going to. But Ray. Five. One right off. And, and the. So you can really. And now they little by the looks of guys for folks. The preliminary okay for this Palm Springs. Yeah. Springs so it's 50s, 60s. To it for sure. Super. And it's 50. We did be one of the puzzles getting shot putting those 
You're guaranteed. So keep the getting just shot. Really good puzzlers in their own right. Uh, Andrea Pang. I she's mean, second in the nation. She's second in the nation. Kelly but, third uh, in the yep. nation. And then you look at the fact that they both did really well in the American group, and she placed fourth at Worlds. And then Kelly came in. Uh, I believe she was 28th at Worlds, which I mean, even you know, 28 is you're no slouch if you're getting that at Worlds because you're up against some really talented puzzlers. And so yeah, the fact that they've teamed up. That's a new development. We've never seen that before. So I'm going to be really interested to see if they actually beat Kathy and Jean's time. I mean, one thing about having these puzzles be so similar, I mean, it was a little bit by design. We tried that yesterday with keeping all of the individual preliminary rounds as sort of similar aesthetic with the puzzles, hopefully a similar difficulty level. And we did that again today with trying to keep these prelim difficulty levels similar. Right. So. So we can compare times across, very slightly depending on mm -hmm. how folks find the puzzle. But yeah, I think I think this could even, I don't know if it's faster. It might be because you've got a few bigger areas of color there than the last puzzle. But, you know, it'll be interesting to see if we get anybody that beats that preliminary time from this morning. I think it was 24.15 24, was what we 15, were at. 24.15, yes. And, and then 24.19 yes. for a second. I, so, agree, yeah. I agree with you, Valerie, mm -hmm. that I think this one will be even a little faster just because yeah they're it's a slightly less busy same style yeah, of puzzle but yep. just a little bit area yep. more areas You've of got that of, area with the sky behind and that could yes. i mean you know there's some background stuff there that might help to kind of place those things with some texture but yeah at their table you've got another incredibly strong team with kelly beer and becca taylor that's what i was just looking next to pony b unicorn <laughs> Blue gun and, oh. and they're great. You've got yeah, sometimes names, and yeah. blue sure mm -hmm. pairs yeah. final. Mm -hmm. I had chatted with them on in the parking lot last night on my way to the car. I'm like, oh, the oh, Lushers really? are right yeah. in front oh, of nice. me. They were going to their car right <laughs> when I was going to mine. So we just chatted mm -hmm. for just a moment, and they had both taken part in the uh, individual prelims yesterday and both advanced to mm -hmm. the finals. As you would imagine, they're pretty pretty speedy you know together and on their own so looking forward to them mm -hmm. Lindsay St uh, steenstra and min lee dang are yeah. here on murderer's row uh, just down the way a little bit also a very fast pair into yep. on their own yep. teaming yeah, up exactly. josh traeger and jeffrey scott yeah we talked to josh yesterday mm. and him and jeff again like both really strong you know puzzlers and then you team them up and i love their name the broken chromosomes with josh and <laughs> yeah. jeff so that'll be fun to see how they do and yeah it's just gonna be really interesting mindy whiting and kyle Cosen, mari black emma pan a couple of the other um pairs that we're really watching here so that's like eight power pairs that we're uh that we're really keeping an eye on but of course it's always fun when folks maybe haven't competed a lot so they don't have a high national ranking but they're still very fast so they can all of a sudden you know jump up there and be one of the top finishers we get that almost every time where someone we're not that familiar with uh, comes in and beats some of the the better known highly ranked national t uh, pairs uh, so it's always yeah, fun and exciting I mean, that way so so the doing a, a large shot of the venue here as we come up on the 10 minute mark so we're 10 minutes into this two hour competition 100 pairs 
one uh, and half of those will go on to tomorrow morning's mm-hmm. final. Then some folks, of course, competing in this event will be turn around and competing in the team's final a little in this afternoon. So they'll have a lot of puzzling to do today. And so here we go, looking around the room. Almost everyone is sitting. So uh, some people are kind of kneeling on their chairs, hunched over their puzzles. But we could be, as we come up on the 11-minute mark, we could be close to halfway done by some folks. And it gets quicker and quicker as they go. There's mm-hmm. fewer pieces to choose from, you know, fewer spots to put those mm-hmm. puzzle, uh, the fewer to put the puzzle pieces in. So it gets exponentially faster as mm-hmm. they get closer. So yeah. even though it doesn't look like right. maybe they're moving that fast right. at the beginning, they're laying the groundwork for a speedy finish. Exactly. So, so yeah, like 50, yeah, for 15, ahead. yeah, 15 minute mark, you know, it might look like they're only half done, but then the difference between the first 15 minutes and the last 15 is crazy. Like usually, you know, once you hit the halfway point and you're just filling stuff in, it's going to go incredibly fast. So we're just going around the room and I'm getting a feel for there. The lady on the added quite a bit of that to look for the, the rankings and also the comments on the uh, live stream. So we'll bring those to you. We'll try to catch up on some of that when we can. But meanwhile, the live action, we're just going around seeing more tables here and what folks are doing, what their strategy is. Some are maybe putting the puzzle together, you know, sideways so they both have a side view. Some mm-hmm. teams like or pairs yep. would like to work where one's upside down and one's looking at it right side up and then maybe they switch mm-hmm. or then they both come around to the same side of the mm-hmm. table so they're both looking at it right side up. Yeah, we were hearing some good strategy during our interviews in the last round where we brought some folks over and you know, we were able to we were able to ask them, you know, what we're saw Gail and that can really maybe help You're with another person you have to share a tight space one of you is going to have to maybe look at it a bit cockeyed so the, hopefully we can get it now going. they're starting to stand mm-hmm. a little bit more maybe mm-hmm. as it gets a little more intense almost ev- I was watching and almost mm-hmm. everyone was sitting yeah uh, in fact I didn't see really anyone standing now several people are standing uh, hunched over I made mm-hmm. ad but uh, mm-hmm. but they are standing now yep at the you know just and some of the competitors from mm-hmm. earlier rounds told us that they think they work a little faster yep. standing yep. up. You know, you get a better view. Yep. And Lens it's to easier sense to sense of urgency. Yes. Yep. And you get yep. to can reach mm-hmm. far easier to get pieces that may be farther away to put those mm-hmm. in. So mm-hmm. I like, you know, kind of seeing those different, uh, the different ways people go at it. Mm-hmm. And I think table 20. So do we have yeah. a, a list by table? You have yeah, a table number yeah, over there. So you're talking table 20. Yeah, that's We're the one of the closest. We're talking about, uh, yeah, that's Andrea Peng and Kelly Walter there. Okay, yeah, right yeah in front of they us. Yep. are, they are flying yeah, on that they puzzle. Are. But uh, EB and Yvonne mm-hmm. over here on table 40 are also moving yep. very quickly. So I apologize to folks who are trying to watch right now. We're having some technical difficulties <laughs> with our connection. I think it's coming back, hopefully. Um, so our camera crews had to kind of take a break and try to fix this Wi-Fi issue. And now we should be able to get back to showing you more of like people's progress. So apologies. This is a fast moving contest. So you get a little glitch like this and you're like, oh, no. Some, yeah, all right. <laughs> but at, at the... least it's happening now at the beginning instead of when people start to finish. And we don't want to miss that. We just crossed the 15 minute mark I know, already. Right? We could be within you 10 think, minutes. Yeah, of I was going to say, finishers. you think we're going to do it? Or you think we're going to see so. some? I think so. I think we will. We might. So, yeah, the, the first half is to do one-third of the puzzle, and the second half is to do two-thirds of it, perhaps. So, all right. And we've been posting results live as they come in. We've been uh, trying to. Not sure if that's being affected as well, but worldjigsawpuzzle.org. Worldjigsawpuzzle.org. 
and then go to the uh, results tab and look for USA Nationals 2024 because they have a whole bunch of results up there. But to get to what we're doing right now, uh, that's the best way to do that. Otherwise, uh, here on the live stream, the camera Oh, they were seeing feeds. Yvonne and EB and their progress. Mm -hmm. So Yvonne is our national champion from 2022, and EB is also a top competitor. She was on uh, Karen's team at the Misfits uh, at Worlds, and they did an amazing job at Worlds. They were the number two team in the oh, world. Wow. So, I mean, you know, we know we got some serious speed there going with Yvonne and EB, so we'll be keeping and an eye on them as well. EB was on the winner of the team competition yes, in 2022. Right? Yep. EB and her husband. Yep. You notice Yvonne took off her unicorn headpiece there. Okay, maybe but it was interfering, yeah, it, sliding I, down or something. I and, think so. Yep. EB still has hers on, yep. but it's a, it's an... A, Mm -hmm. Fun visual if the cameras yeah, happen yeah, to get yeah. on that, but I know they're actually on their table, yep. but they're, they're watching their puzzles. I think there we're seeing Andrea and Kelly, and like I said, that right side of the puzzle is okay. kind of coming together first because it gives you a little bit more to work with. As you expected so, and yeah. predicted. It's interesting, though. I don't know if they look like they're on track for a 25-minute finish. Maybe this one's a little tougher than the last one. Maybe. We'll see because cause we're only eight minutes away from where we would... You know, the other teams were yeah, starting to exactly. circle in. Yep. You're right. So maybe. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So it's mm -hmm. hard to really judge. I know. I it? wish I could just call it like perfectly <laughs> every time. Well, this, I is gonna really 24, oh, this is going to take him 24-15. Oh, this is going to take him 27-38. It would really lend, lend to my credibility <laughs> yeah. if I could just call it like on the nose every time. But I promise I know a thing or two. But even though I'm getting these times all wrong this weekend, I feel like I'm off. I, at least I got the strategy down. But right. I don't know about the timing. I right, know. right. Got to work on that. Yeah. That's tough. <laughs> and it depends on the team. Some folks, yep. you know, they like their landscapes or they like yes, their exactly. illustrations. Yep. Some, you know. I get a kick out of it when we ask people, what do you want to pull out of the bag? And they're like, a landscape. And then <laughs> they have yet to get one. And right. they're just like, oh, great. You a know, <laughs> we want a lot of gradient sky. You know, yeah, they haven't had a lot that. of that. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, last time uh, when we did this in 2022, we we had uh Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, somebody just mentioned to me this is table 89. Uh, who is this that we're looking at? 89. Dax Herrera and Maria Valenzuela. And there's this Bozo Dubbed Over. <laughs> That's the name <laughs> of their pair. And they're doing pretty well. So yes. That's what we're looking for is like, let's let's see some people we don't know about right, right. come in there and, and surprise us with a fast finish. We've been we love getting, getting a, that. a little bit of that mm -hmm. all sprinkled through enough to really keep it interesting. It's yep. like the NCAA basketball tournament <laughs> where every now and then like a 15 seed knocks off a number two just to keep it interesting, mm -hmm. which is fun. Yep. And no, uh, I mean, that is one of the fun things about this. You just never know. You might get mm -hmm. somebody. Yep. Oh, and we just found, okay, we're going to see one of the. Be Here up we there. go. Yep, there's, yep. We talked about Mike, Dylan the father. And Michael a yep. little earlier. Yep, they're called the Mile High Middlers. That's the Denver connection, as you had mentioned. Or, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Well, and you know, a lot of people we've talked to, like they got started with virtual puzzling, and that's, you know, speedpuzzling.com. Jonathan Clough, he's a sponsor here, and he's a former board member. He was a co founder, co -founder of USAJPA. And uh, he gives people the opportunity to just try it from home, see if they're any good, you right, know, before right. you invest the money to, like, travel and go to a contest somewhere. And, and so that's how people can kind of gauge if they're, how they're doing. And here is what's become a fan favorite, uh, uh, the teddy bear that's been hanging out with one of the puzzlers. <laughs> yes. And we found out the name of the teddy bear. So for those of you who have been paying attention to the bear, uh, his name is Juan. So we're loving Juan, and everybody's rooting for the bear. Now I need to find out what table number is that, because I need to find out. Okay, I gotta, I gotta give a shout out to the bear, and it's Gail and Rodney Ocano. Oh, oh my gosh, this is adorable. Guess what the name of their pair is? Bear with us. Bear with us, <laughs> of course. That's amazing. <laughs> Love it. So, yeah, we'll be watching the bear. Uh -huh. So some of Everybody's the other rooting for Juan. Power, power pairs. So Simi Berman is uh, with Alyssa Zackler. Yeah, 
Uh, they're at page 17, or yeah. uh, table 17, I should say. Then we mentioned Yvonne and EB, table 40. And you, want, uh, you just saw Mari Black and Emma Pan there. They have another yes. good team name, Wicked Quick. Yes. So I wonder if that means they're Boston, maybe? Uh, <laughs> right. Exa hey, good point. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, this is great. Okay. Beck and so, Kelly. So, yeah, I, I mean, we're Traegers, at the 21-minute mark. Where where are we looking at here? We, oh, that is looking, ooh. Is, this is Kelly. So this is uh, Kelly Walter and Andrea Peng. So... They are looking like they may do this. Look at Andrea and uh, um, Kelly, and or <laughs> Kelly Walter and Andrea Peng. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're right in front here. Everybody's watching them. I, I, they're, yep. I think. I mean, again, like I said, you go from the 15-minute mark, and then all of a sudden, now everybody's lurking. Right, it looks right. like we're maybe gonna get it, close. It look at this. <laughs> right. So is that? 20 pieces or so yeah look at that they just the, like flew it through just that. appeared yes, like right. magically it appeared did, it did just magically appear <laughs> they are flying okay so it's sounding like right now what i'm hearing from the floor is that it could be yvonne and eb they're also incredibly oh, close yeah. And looks then like Andrea and Kelly. It looks like they have more pieces on the yeah, side. Yeah, they might have us. a few more pieces on the so, side. I think Kelly. Yeah, yeah I think we're looking at the the number yeah. one finishers in this round yeah, right now. We're like Kelly down to Andrea. a dozen pieces yep. tops. Right. For Unless them. there's some on top of the puzzle that we're just not seeing. Right. That could be dozen. the case. So they're at 22:45. So they have a minute they, and a half. Right. A minute and a half. On the to, Reuters. Yeah. To, maybe. Yes. Oh yeah. Here we. Oh my gosh. They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. Is this the last piece? There it oh is. Oh my gosh. Twenty-two fifty-six. Under twenty-two fifty. Wow. Under, wow. Wow. That's a great time. Twenty-three minutes. That's just incredible. Congratulations to the two of them. I mean, I knew wow. they were gonna be a powerhouse, but you know, well, the Reuters. We already have established that they're, you know, kind of the team, the pair to beat. They came in at twenty-four. Was it fifteen? 15. And these guys finished a minute ahead of them. You you can't compare across puzzles. Right, we both can't. predicted that be, this puzzle would be a little, little quicker. Easier. Yep, a little exactly. Easier. Yep, I think. But you're I mean, right. not to take anything but away now, from them. Yep, but but here's I mean, EB that, and Yvonne, and they're right there too. They're, they're going to be. They're about they're a gonna dozen be close. pieces left too. So they may, they could beat the Reuters. Their mm -hmm. their uh, time or tie. There's 30 seconds left mm -hmm. for them yep. to get the 24:15 that Kathy and yeah, Jean it's going to be tight. Had. I'm excited for for it's, these teams that are getting done this quickly. It's so really, we've, really we've got the fun to see. Right on them. So now you can see. Oh, they just cut away. But Yvonne, okay, Yvonne doesn't have her unicorn hat on, but the EB does. So that's how you know which is which. Yvonne is sporting the bright red hair, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this could could have been oh. the last piece. Oh they yeah, you away. should go back to. Go back to four. Here it is. Yep. Okay, oh, there, there it is. Oh, there 24, is. 18 oh, ish. 24, right 18 in there. roughly. Right in there. <laughs> That's fantastic. Wow, those are some fast times, everybody. Well, and we knew that those two teams yeah, were we did. among the strongest yep, without. We did. All right, there they are, posing for pictures together. Let's wait until maybe. Maybe now we just waste the time. <laughs> <laughs> EB is <laughs> elated. Well, yes. we'll just say that, elated. She <laughs> elated. is hopping up yes. and down. Yeah, we cut away too paint. soon, maybe. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, we missed some really good hugging and jumping and, <laughs> and uh, a lot of excitement. Yeah. That was wow, pretty amazing. So, who some of the other power teams there? Yeah, uh, Becca. Well, up. we got Becca the and Kelly are, right next to oh, yeah. you know and where the Kelly are, and Andrea were. Are at 18, and this is tough so they'll now because right they've in got front. this cacophony going on around them with winners and cameras and everybody, and then they're still plugging away. And yeah, and I think Becca Taylor okay, Kelly Buer right okay, there. Now which, they look, now, which team is this that we're looking at? Okay, here? they're all kind of, we're getting some gathering around. So it looks like 19 there with Becca and Kelly. They're looking like they're going to be the next finishers. Yeah, 
okay, that's Emma and Mari. Okay. That's, yeah. At the and table next right to them. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Emma and Mari are table 71 mm -hmm. that I see. Oh, we are just on them now. I think okay. we're. Oh, we're back to them. This is Emma and Mari. They have about a dozen pieces, but they mm -hmm. are just flying in there. About a piece a second. So it's oh, I know, I know. Take a few seconds. Yeah. I so am curious gonna be to look if they're using both hands or not, because some people do. You know, She's they're literally up putting with them one trans right. for, Well, it depends. Yeah. Yeah, kind of picking up with the closest hand. Oh, yeah. She's waving. They have three to go. Or she's four. waving her hand like, three make to sure go. somebody's here to this get is the, the time. last two, but, yeah, and there gonna... it is right there. 26-33-ish. That is our third place team. Third place pair for this round. Nice work, Emma and Mari. And they're at table 71, so nobody yeah. knew that they were going to come in well, that, that they, strong. Well, we should have because I had them... Uh, I had them down. Oh, you did, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I had them okay. highlighted and on yep. my yep. definite power pairs. You've got better research going on, uh, apparently, than I you just know, how we went assign through the, heats. I went through the top, you know, the, the <laughs> yeah, U.S. Yep. rankings, oh, and I'm sure, like, okay, yep. where are they? Yep, oh, we've yep. got two in the top 20 yeah, in the right, U.S. rankings. Yeah, they they've, we've yep. got to keep an eye on them. Yep. Let me decide who the uh, heat, <laughs> whose uh, pairings are going to be in the heats. No. That is excellent. So now we're... Look at this, we have six pieces left over here. And this is going to be... Oh, there's Becca and Kelly. Becca and Kelly, yep. as we expected, looking like a fourth right there. Yeah, yeah, there like we 27, go. 27, 33-ish, yeah. 32. Great. Okay, and there's... There's Kyle Kosen. I'm going to check and see who's Kyle. Kyle is with. I have know them Kyle's down. fast. Oh, that's broken chromosomes. That's Jeff, oh, Josh and Jeff Josh right and there that we're okay. watching right now. And we mentioned right. them earlier that they're very fast. I think they're going to be in it. Table 15. Mm hmm. Yeah, they're getting very close. Wow, we we'll wow. get those first six. Yeah. Where th that'll be a podium finish with yes, six. Yes, exactly. We do top six placements, but this is a prelim, so we're still going right, to have the right. final tomorrow. But Allie will announce the right. top yep, six. Right, yep, she'll announce them soon. Yep. Once we get those. So we have four so far, but we're just... So, uh, oh, it looks like these two are one. neck and neck right next to each oh, other. Oh, my... So they're at table 15, so we'll see who's at table. 16 is Melinda Whiting and Kyle Kosen. Oh, that's Mindy Whiting. Oh, Mindy. what happened there? I couldn't even see. Like, did they tie? I think they might have tied. We're going to have to oh, see the results when they come goodness. in. That's exciting. That was They so were right get, on top of each other. Get our, yeah. That'll get our six. Yep, that's probably our Regardless top six. Regardless of which way they finish, exactly. it'll be fifth and sixth. Yep. Or it'll be two fifth places, mm -hmm. and then the next one will be seventh. <laughs> Becca coming over and high fiving the high fiving the EB and Yvonne. E e yep. e and Yvonne. Yeah, everybody's so supportive of each other. We've talked about that a lot. That you know, you're happy for your friends when they do well, and, and oh, there we had Alyssa. I saw that we had Alyssa, and I think was that Tiffany with it? no Tiffany was in the last round. Alyssa oh, there we go. I think that's Simi. Okay. Yeah, Simi, Simi and Alyssa. And Alyssa. Yes, Zachler. nice work. Simi Berman, Simi and Alyssa. Alyssa Zachler. There's Mike and Dylan again. They still have a little ways to go, but not bad progress Dad's at all. Dad's moving pretty fast. Yep, yep. Connor, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's, Dylan is, yeah. Oh, they're switching oh, they're sides. Switching. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. It certainly works when I'm doing it with my wife or, uh -huh. you know, parents that they're believers mm -hmm. in switching because getting a yeah. fresh angle. And so there you at, can okay. see the top six placements there, and they're all under a half hour. That's impressive. Under 29 minutes. So Kelly so and Andrea yep. finished an hour, uh, one minute and 21 seconds, it looks like. So 
Yeah, so Jeff and Josh snuck into the top six there with the sixth place spot. And they were just behind, well, how many seconds? Oh, 17. no. Uh, okay. It looks like, were they one second behind, or is it going to be a tie with with Mindy and Kyle and uh, Josh and Jeff? They listed them sixth and fifth, sixth and oh, seventh, yeah. so they did, that's the... Yep. From here, that screen just a bit far, wasn't able to oh, quite see Oh, I recognize that this team. This is Heather Mueller and Liz. Okay, and. Or wait, no, I think, yeah, wait. And there's Sorry. Lindsay and Min Yi. Min Yi. Lindsay Steenstra, Min Yi Deng, right there on camera, and they just finished. Oh, exciting. Yeah, Lindsay and Min, nice work, Lindsay and Min. Lindsay didn't make the cut in the uh, her individual preliminary no, yesterday, right, right. Yeah. but she is def definitely in the top ten here yeah. in the uh, pairs. So she'll definitely see action tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But I was kind of surprised she didn't, you know, make it. Yeah, in the no, pairs I know she is a strong puzzler, yesterday. and I mean, she she'll be on like top teams and all of that. But she, I relate because I'm not great with individuals, individual. but I do. I mean, I've been on winning teams, you know, so for me, it's just a pressure situation. It's a lot harder. I don't know. I can't speak for Lindsay. I still, I mean, she still did great because she had that darn plentiful still, produce puzzle yes, though yesterday I, but too. But I think she got done in under an hour and a half still, you know, yes. which is still a great accomplishment. But, but yeah, you know, she's on top teams. So she's definitely a really good team player to watch and does an amazing job. And that's Heather and Katie. Sorry, I said Liz earlier, but that's yeah, Heather and Katie. All right, we're going to go to Allie for top six. All right, everyone, keep puzzling, but we've got an announcement. We've got our first six finishers. We've got in first place Kelly Walter and Andrea Peng, 22 minutes and 56 seconds. In second place, we have Yvonne Foyt and E.B. Karen. In third place, at 26 minutes, a minute later, at 27.32, sixth place, we're about to have you head over there, 50, and also to Mark. That's Heather, who is this? They got her. Yeah. We'll see. Okay, so yeah. we'll uh, finish this machine on the Next to the after yep. the first seconds, it won't for some leave. Is getting a traffic area, but yeah, always in flux. We're figuring it out as we go. Right. I, I hope people at home like kind of keep teasing and and like you should. <laughs> we don't their support but as right, soon as they right. wander by and there, right professionals or do ESPN I think we could yeah, we should be on make this event regular regular day job <laughs> we're doing this here put this all to their huge and their fan what would we do? work with that all of our time sure yeah we can make Far team who pair whiting this time is gray even in this uh yeah. or was she on the last yeah. competition now i'm trying to remember if she was in the other preliminary but melinda just finished so yeah. we know she yeah. advanced the lucers jennifer and katie the mother and daughter they already advanced they finished third in the pairs final in 2022 mm -hmm. it was yvonne foyt and yeah. sarah schuler well sarah they're on different teams sarah advanced this morning yvonne is with eb karen they just advanced mm -hmm. there uh finishing second today so they moved on andrea kyle and don rasmussen they advanced this morning so i want to point out the ones that are on screen there just really quickly that's mm -hmm. uh yen ha and her son vin and i wanted to mention them because yen ha is the winner of our our custom puzzle design contest she put together a beautiful puzzle or a beautiful design called under the Inf people closer are be available we were really excited we chose that
um, <laughs> really talked about. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, on the fourth finisher, uh, is off. Mary pairs. So these. Preliminary all how does it feel? And they're like legendary. <laughs> it felt fast. I don't think there was ever a time we weren't yeah. moving. Mm -hmm. Um and I didn't think we were that fast, but I'm pleased. <laughs> I know. I could only knew because I heard you guys say, Oh, they're at like twenty two minutes and we didn't have that many pieces left. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I was like, Oh So you can hear exciting. us no. from there. I know it's close to our table. Hopefully I, we're not distracting oh, no, you too you're much. Fine. I tried to block it out, but <laughs> It's it's honestly kind of nice, but yeah. I have to say, and these images were so fun. They're great. Oh to yeah. <laughs> yesterday it was were like <laughs> yes. So. Were you sort of like, are you kidding? When you pulled out another prep Rocky, or were you not surprised? No, I wasn't surprised. Yeah. I was hoping for it. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. So, um, expected it. Yeah. They were fun. We mm -hmm. did the first one. Oh, you did. We yeah. borrowed it from someone, and so we did it together during lunch. So well, it, maybe it helped. I was gonna mm -hmm. say, will you tell us if you timed it and if it was faster than what Jean and Kathy did? It was not. No. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Although I will say we didn't have the nice white poster board, so but who knows? Who knows? <laughs> we were. War it was a warm up. Have you guys yeah. done a lot of practicing together and been timing yourselves? And so did you kind of know, like, yeah, we're gonna be okay? We got together once. Yeah. About mm -hmm. a month ago. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, not too much. We yeah. knew we would be okay, but yeah. yeah. We well, don't you know knew you were going to advance, but it's <laughs> like coming in at yeah. 23 minutes. That's a really good time, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, yeah. What were you expecting? Anything close to that or no? I think I expected close to what the first yeah the okay first did. Yeah. I think it's they seem pretty similar in difficulty. Mm -hmm. I can't. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's like yesterday where you could tell i'll be curious right. to see what the average times are and how many people finish before yeah. i make a decision sure. whether it's harder easier or not, easier yeah i'm gonna go buy both of these puzzles yeah to home. are you so. they were really fun <laughs> yeah um, well that is a, a yeah. good question how do you determine which of you gets to keep the puzzle after she got she got online and registered so i'll let her oh okay good <laughs> idea okay but we'll see <laughs> very we equitable too. yeah, yeah. 500, yes so, so any like immediate strategy come to mind looking at this? Had you talked about the first? Let's go where the pieces go, which direction, and how. Great. Hold the edge and clean so you can just. But pieces on the inside. Here for pairs when by itself, if it's where it's supposed to be, it's a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. So. You mentioned that you went out and bought that first puzzle. You got that first puzzle and put it together over lunch. So it, you thought that helped you with this one, then? I think a little bit. And we got actually we, someone let us borrow it. So oh, we someone, bought it. Oh, yeah. so one yeah. of the first competitive. Okay, because that's what I was going to ask. Is and I haven't gone over to the Robin's Burger booth lately, but they had like slots for each competition, mm -hmm. and that they were trying to put the puzzle on sale immediately once it got unveiled. So mm -hmm. I was just wondering if. That's how you did it, but you borrowed somebody's yeah. and put it together over lunch. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it only, yeah. we'll say, under a half hour mm -hmm. to do that, so you still had time mm -hmm. there from when you know when you got it to get it done for yeah. here, and mm -hmm. then you're in the team competition coming up this afternoon, yep. and you're on the same team, yes. which would be a great strategy, obviously, <laughs> as opposed to split up, but <laughs> different. Weirder things have happened. <laughs> and who are your teammates? It's actually our table mates, so Kelly Burr and Becca no Taylor. No way. So oh you're with Becca and Kelly? Yeah. So oh. automatically a power team to, yes, that will right? be watching them, right? obviously. Yeah. That's amazing. Were you guys trash talking each other during the pairs? Because uh, you know you know each other pretty well. Bit. <laughs> and they finish fourth. Yes. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that'll be, that'll yep. be, you'll, you'll be a power house to watch or a force yeah, for to watch sure. working yeah. with. Good. I think we're going to be really strong. We don't have what the Minnesota women have, which is years of experience with each other. Right. Um, yep. Or the Reuter sisters have that. Being twins. You know, yeah. But, um, <laughs> Having like psychic powers yeah. potentially. <laughs> so, but 
<laughs> we're fun. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think It'll you got fun. a good shot. We're definitely excited to watch you. I did yeah. notice just now I refreshed, and we've hit the mark where everybody has qualified yeah. now. We are, we're past setting. the 50 finishes okay. the mark. Cut, so. so the cut off. So that's maybe why we heard some screaming a little bit ago because they just they made it made in it under it the wire okay. with getting into the final, I think, because we had uh, we, that last one that made it in is the Shirley Jiang and Frank Liu, and they had a time of 48.03. So yeah, that's that, fast. That's fast. Yeah. To have 50, you know, pairs done yeah, in, yeah. In, in under 50 minutes is really impressive. So yeah. I think this is going to be a little like last round where everybody's pretty much done by the mm -hmm. time the two-hour yeah. mark comes. But we'll see. I yeah. mean, we had that adorable couple that stayed and kept mm -hmm. going in the last round. And now they have like a fan club, I think, pretty much <laughs> on, online already of people who are like, hey, we yeah. want more of, you know, Gene and Connie. So yes, <laughs> we that might was have to adorable. make that happen. Was, but yeah, it it's was. very cool that um, people stuck with it. And We're coming but yeah, up. It's, yeah, it's cool. That is really fast, I think, yeah. 48 minutes. So yeah. Yeah, We're yeah, coming up on the 52 minute right. mark right now. So there's an hour eight left. And I yeah. expect this place to be cleared out, you know, yeah. within an hour yeah. or four, even yeah. 45 minutes from yeah. now, it looks like. We'll so see. Greg Paparaki, if you if you're watching, just know everybody loved your puzzles yes. and they were super super yes. fun. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. a little bit of a Southern California theme. So he's apparently uh, big in the Coachella Valley, which is Palm Springs okay. area. Yep. They said his artwork because we talked to the uh, who was up from, uh, from Robinsburg. Yeah. yeah, Rachel. Yeah, Rachel. Right, and she said that his artwork is all over like the Palm Springs area, and mm -hmm. that's kind of that hipster you know yeah, and yeah. frank sinatra style which was uh, you know big they were you know the rat pack kind of yeah, yeah, vegas yeah. was a, another place that they hung out in so it yeah, kind of yeah. has that 50s 60s look i agree with you though when i look at it i'm like oh i want to do that yeah, that looks this is fun my favorite kind of yeah stuff. yay like that kind of image, so. okay cool good to know mm -hmm. all right we'll, well yeah. thank you for joining thank us you, you guys were great good luck thank you thank we'll you. be watching <laughs> Keep it going today. Have All right. fun. Yeah, that's right. A little break before yeah. the three-hour team. Yeah, we're almost halfway done. <laughs> yeah. It's not Thanks the five-and-a-half-hour yeah. marathon it was in 2022. If you yeah. took part in that, that was a killer. But, yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Good. Thank you. We'll see you later. Oh, yeah, don't forget that. And All should right. we try to see if we, yeah. Yvonne and EB, the, the unicorn we're ladies, calling over please? the next pair here, the second-place right. pair, Yvonne and EB. You guys, a lot of you, if you've watched a lot of live streaming, you'll recognize them from past championships and worlds. So, yeah. How are you guys feeling? Uh, pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, great. <laughs> I mean, that was our type of puzzle. So we're yeah, like, yes. really? Well, I we didn't pick it on purpose, but I'm glad. I'm glad <laughs> for you. <laughs> yeah, people are telling us that was amazing, and I'm like, I feel amazed. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, I think it was both our PRs yeah. for, for pairs. Oh, even with really? Tammy. Sorry, so, Tammy. Oh, oh, sorry, Tammy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 24-17. That is a really impressive time, under yeah. 25 minutes. I mean... What did you think when Kelly and Andrea finished, though, at 22.56? I mean, I mean, amazing. I mean that's I'm, a, not surprised. I'm not surprised. Evie, get a little <laughs> closer to your mic so we can yeah. hear you. Yeah, the yeah. Folks at home, yeah, yeah, yeah there we yeah, go. Yeah, right. There you go. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, did it throw you off at all, or did you just power through and keep puzzling? I just powered through. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we knew we were in second, like in the running for a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, felt, like, I, did, I definitely felt yeah. that. And, and I was like, oh, wait, the cameras are now on us. Let's Let's go. Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> about, <laughs> about how many pieces did you have left when you heard the first round of applause? 20? 50? Yeah. I don't know. Not it's really? so hard because it goes really fast at the right, end. Right. So, like, the last maybe 40. Yeah. I was going to say 20 or 30. Okay. I don't know. Okay. It was just, like, but, all those yeah. loose ones in the left side of the mm -hmm. puzzle. Did you know who had won when you heard the cheers? Did you look up enough just to see yeah, or just to we, we, we had were so pretty close. good. I didn't look up, but I was like, oh, it's probably Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I was facing that way, and you uh, yeah, was, was facing like, the other way. Right, right. Yeah. Good oh, guess. <laughs> let, let's comment on your unicorn hats. So. Yes, okay. Tell us, yes. Tell us about the pair name. Yes. Oh, the, well, where, did, where did this Evie idea come from? Oh, I'll really? let you do it. <laughs> um, well, Yvonne often has beautiful, colorful hair. 
It changes mm-hmm. colors. Mm-hmm. Um, and it reminds me of a beautiful unicorn. <laughs> and so nice. I came up with the name uh-huh. Ponivi and Ivanicorn, <laughs> which has nothing to do with puzzles. No, but. it's fine. You don't have to have it. It doesn't have to be puzzles, right? I mean, right? you put the puzzle pieces yeah. on yeah, it. Yeah, you have little micro puzzle oh, yes, pieces yes, on there. Exactly. Yeah, I had Adorable. <laughs> and I did comment on the live stream, though. I looked over and I go, Alvon has taken her unicorn. Hat <laughs> yes, off. what happened? So we was were, there a costume malfunction? <laughs> we, we went like this. <laughs> and then oh, oh we, locking we, horns. While we were puzzling, because we were leaning over, right? So we locked horns a couple times, and I was like, nah, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> locked horns. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh. I was like, maybe it was sliding down or getting in her yeah, way. That's, or that something. Yeah, your, so that's it hilarious. Wasn't bad, except right, yeah. for the times where we locked horns, and I was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know for the final, maybe the one of you has to give up the headband or something. <laughs> well, we'll find. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, you know, it wasn't that much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, <laughs> that was funny. So you said this was your type of puzzle. Why? Why is it that that one your type of puzzle? We both love colorful illustrations. And mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go and ahead. Then, like, yeah. I don't. I mean, like, there's clear sections that mm-hmm. we could. Out crisp know. lines on the colors. Yeah, crisp lines. Um, we speculated mm-hmm. at the very beginning when we unveiled the puzzle for the folks on the live stream that the right hand side would get done first. Mm-hmm. Is that how you mm-hmm. yep. did it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah I did the green this and, and this. the blues. Yeah, mm-hmm. I did the light. The, yeah, yeah, I kind of thought that fence. would be the case that that one side would really yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great. And yep. the sky mm-hmm. gradient. I mean, some folks are like, oh, I love the gradient skies and puzzles. You said you, you, said you oh, I don't like sky. And I was like, okay. And then you were like, oh, but I'm loving the sky. <laughs> <laughs> like 10 minutes later. Yeah, I like that yellow. I like that bright yellow. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was an easy choice when we saw these as an option because we were just like, well, yeah, I mean, they're so cute mm-hmm. and adorable and they have animals on them and they're like bright. And yeah, so shout that out to Greg. They were really fun. I think we're going to, we couldn't decide who got the puzzle, so we're going to split a new one. So okay. <laughs> yeah. One. It's yeah. a keeper. Yeah, right? It yeah, is. It'll be a fast one. I mean, and if it's your personal record, right? You got to mm-hmm. keep it. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. For Until sure. the next personal record. And then it goes in the trash. No. <laughs> exactly. The thrift store donation. Swap, and, swap table. Know. No, right. Swap <laughs> table. Exactly. Swap table. <laughs> so we're yeah, no, you guys, that was amazing. It was super fun to watch. And I mean, you know, post. we just can't wait to see what happens in the final now. I know. Are you guys at all affected by the the two thousand dollar prize that's lurking out there for the pairs did you know about this no the first place pair gets two thousand dollars oh yeah (laughs) (laughs) so you weren't listening to ali's announcements in other words yeah the the top pair is going to get two thousand dollars the top team is going to get three thousand yeah oh you're just like what what is let's let's go down the prizes all the way to like six no there's zero for second place it's all or nothing cash prize but we get a trophy yeah, oh, of course. Yeah, we're yeah. doing trophies, certificates, medals, all of that good stuff. And medals. Uh, well, medals is fourth through fourth six, through six. Oh. And, and first through third okay. is trophies okay. and okay. certificates for everyone. Which mm. Yvonne, we have yours from last time. I don't know if well, Ali gave it to you. Finally. No, I haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> I have my last year the nationals puzzle from last time built on a poster board waiting for it to get framed with the oh um, nice yeah last last year she won the national championship and then we gave her the wrong certificate at the oh. end it was like for it the team robin, division or, no it yeah, says robin says, decare <laughs> <laughs> and i think and robin decare has i was mine. yeah she has okay. yours but okay. it says the first and second six places or, or like something they're like, like swaps gotcha. now. Like i know well you, you can't get it all right i guess so <laughs> the, so the folks that home no and for you ladies who weren't mm-hmm. listening to the beginning individual first place is 1500 yeah. oh. for them and yeah. then the pair gets That's 2000 huge. which will be a thousand each and then the team yeah. is 3000 so it's 750 dollars oh. per member of the mm-hmm. team yeah. assume Goodness. they Maybe a little extra motivator so, yeah. give a shout out to someone in the chat of course yeah hi cory figura floor <laughs> check woo <laughs> are you are you watching yeah, yeah we miss they, the figuras floor check is usually at all the contests and they're top competitors and we do we miss you guys yeah. yes we do I mean, Corey, max zeb and what's the other person 
There's four figuras. My, my, my. I don't Sophie. have it here. Yes, they're Sophie, from, yes, sorry. They're from That's Waverly, it. Iowa. Yep. I'm from Eastern Iowa oh as well, God, so they're from here. nearby. I chatted yeah, with them just briefly. <laughs> uh, yeah, th when two years ago or yeah. a year and a half ago. They're a family team, and they are just always so, like, just lovely people and great competitors. Yes, so we do, we track. miss them this time around. They're like a staple. Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, thank you guys for stopping by. We'll see you again, hopefully, right? Yeah. Um, and yeah. yeah, you guys were great. Thanks thank for you. being so Thanks fun to watch. Good luck in the teams nice and, of course, in the yes. pairs yep. and individuals tomorrow. So you still have three more competitions. Oh, my God. Yeah. Today's almost <laughs> over. And then we have a whole three-hour team yeah. thing happening yet today. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Welcome. So Yvonne Foyd, E.B. Karen. Just going to there. commercial. Okay. From the moment that we met, you were the way. Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know. So yeah, this is one of our sponsors, La Puz. They were one of our major sponsors for this event, and they have such fun puzzles. So I hope people out there, if you've never checked them out, you go to their website, lapuz.com, and check it out. Their puzzles are like these really kind of wacky designs, and just, as you can see, they're just super vibrant and just fun. They have a great variety, and they have a booth here, and it's hilarious because you'd think all these folks would get tired of puzzling, Jeff, but they leave this room, and then they immediately go in the hall, and they start puzzling. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> I wouldn't have, but I do now because I have actually seen it. They're at breakfast, and they've got I half know, of the right? table has yeah, got You go to the hotel restaurant, it. they're all doing that. And we are back live with the USA mm -hmm. Jigsaw Puzzle 2024 Nationals. I'm Jeff Whittle. My partner is Valerie mm -hmm. Coit been having tons of fun and to thank folks for watching us on YouTube we are offering our live stream viewers a chance the, and to Twitch. win yep. and Twitch yep. yeah we're back to, Twitch. to win prizes viewers at home can go to usajigsaw.org click on the live stream prize banner on the home page fill out the entry form there and this time enter the keyword San Diego and it looks like it's capital S A N space capital D I E G O for a chance to win some amazing prizes, that keyword again is San Diego, mm -hmm. two words. We'll announce the winners of the live stream raffle tomorrow during our closing ceremony, which we will also live stream between 3.30 and 4.30 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. Uh, one entry per keyword, but we've been we will announce a total of 16 keywords mm -hmm. throughout the weekend, so plenty of chances for you to enter that uh, drawing, so just keep tuning in. Yeah. And uh, by the way, you can uh, keep updated on the results as they come in here during the competition. Mm -hmm. They're posted at worldjigsawpuzzle.org at the website. Go to the results tab. Just look for USA Nationals 2024. Yeah. I should do some refreshing here and, All right. and we're an, see where we're at for our results now. And we're an hour and five minutes in. So mm -hmm. we have about 55 minutes left in this competition. We've already reached the cutoff where the first 50 have certainly finished and now have advanced to tomorrow morning's final. 
uh, for the pairs. Everyone else, though, we're still hoping everybody gets mm-hmm. a chance to finish their puzzle today. How many right. have finished so far? Wow, we've already had 75 of the pairs out of 100 finish. I don't know if we filled the final. I think we might only have 99 pairs. I know there was one pair table empty, and we try to fill it You know, right up until the last moment before we start. If there's a spot open, we try to grab folks and get them in there. But I think we might only have 99 pairs. Um, so we're, yeah, we're getting close to having almost everybody done and we're only an hour and six minutes in. So, um, but yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's still fun to see. Like, I mean, I think we're going to have a lot of people finish and just probably everybody. I mean, hopefully we only had one that didn't yep. in the first preliminary, yep. well, then we uh, found the pairs. out that one of them had like a broken shoulder. So she's like had some she's one limited arm mobility. Yeah, yeah. The one arm puzzler yeah. there. So yeah, they, yeah. they were a person and a half pair really. <laughs> so they were yeah. definitely at a disadvantage. Although, if you look here, you see this person's only using one hand. Yeah. A lot of people. <laughs> He's holding his head right? up with you. He's doing a Kristen. Like remember from worlds as Kristen too from Norway would sit and always have her head resting on her one hand and just puzzle with her dominant hand <laughs> and still get second place. Uh. Even with just the one hand working, um, a lot of people tend to puzzle most with like their dominant hand, that and the other sense. one isn't doing a whole lot. That's something as a speed puzzler myself that I've tried to work on is like get that other hand in there, like get it busy. What I saw some of the folks doing was that they would pick the piece up with the one and yes. then transfer it to the good hand because maybe you're a little more accurate at placing yep, it in yep. that spot with yeah. your dominant hand yeah, as I opposed to your left. I actually do think hand. that's a good strategy. I've done that as well, where I I just kind of don't. Don't even have to look at what the left hand's doing my non-dominant hand it just kind of grabs pieces and feeds it and it keeps you from glancing all over if that hand's just reaching over grabbing pieces and putting it in your dominant hand to place so i do think that's actually a good strategy right. and obviously um, it was working right? for some folks but if you watch somebody i don't know if folks like you know if you're new to the scene of, of speed puzzling you should go check out the world jigsaw puzzle championship uh youtube channel not until, of course, you've watched we're all done. of our streams and we're done. Right. right. But go to that and look at um, the world champ Alejandro because that is something that gives him an advantage is he really uses both hands. Like they are just both moving super, super fast. And he looks like he's in fast motion. <laughs> but that, you know, he is not relying on just one dominant hand. He's really got both of them cruising. And sometimes it's like they're simultaneously <laughs> placing pieces. Like, and I'm like, I don't think my brain can track that amb- action. Ambidextrous. Right, where he's like right. putting them both in with both. Exactly. If, if you could get one, each eye to go individually yes, right? and really scan, that would be, maybe that's what <laughs> that he's would doing. Be so helpful. Well, yeah, that would yeah. be helpful. It'd yeah, look a little right? weird, but boy, you would be <laughs> record exactly. holder. But yeah, we're going to bring over have, some more puzzlers. This is Wicked Quick, is the oh, pair's yes. name. We're going to bring we over have here. Questions. We're going to let you ladies have the middle spot here, and we have the Wicked Quick t shirts going on. Sure do. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. The names on the back. Oh, close to the oh, oh yes. yep, Emma For Pan, sure. all right. <laughs> and a piece on the side. Oh, yes. Excellent. Very nice outfits there. <laughs> good, good. Well, yeah, Very colorful. That blue is just team. sticks out, so nice job. Boston? Boston. <laughs> is that where you're from? Yeah. That's yeah. the Wicked. Yeah, the, the wicked Valerie made uh, both of you. Yep. yep. All right. Okay. So you made the trip together yep. across country. Yep. Okay. That so is Boston a pair. Made a, that, that was what <laughs> we were yes. wondering when we saw Actually, Wicked Quick. Actually, our whole team. Our whole oh, team yeah. is yeah, New really? England based. So oh. the Wicked Quick was Emma's stroke of genius. So oh, to, nice. we wanted to mark the New Englandness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, so yeah, is this your first nationals? Tell oh, us about yeah. your team and, and your pair here. Well, yeah. we met um, last spring at a uh, puzzle contest at the Windsor Locks Library in. Connecticut, which was just like a funsy day. It was uh, like two hours from Boston. Like we both schlepped out to get to this little <laughs> local library. It was my first in-person competition, and we okay. just happened to meet there. And it turns out we live about five blocks away from each other. <laughs> no <laughs> way. So we yes. train like four or five days a week. I was gonna say. Wow. And <laughs> we are like, this is it. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, really it's fun. paid off for you. You got in third place. In yeah. third place, twenty-six minutes thirty-three seconds. Yeah. So. Yeah. Is that nice a personal job. record for you both? What's your fastest uh, pair time? Can you tell us? It's a PR on a first time Ravensburger, okay. but our PR is 19 something. Oh, wow. that's on a Buffalo. Oh, <laughs> I do love boy. me a Buffalo. Wow. Sorry, oh, all the sponsors are great. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. If We're... it has puzzle pieces, I'm in. Okay, <laughs> right, well, right. this just made things way more interesting. Is 19? That would be. 
impressive. Yeah. So here's well, hoping, the, right? The brands matter. Yeah, they, they, sure. they all feel different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So is Robinsburger one that you pri primarily practice with for yes, coming for up sure. to this? Yep. But we do, we like to dabble a bit in other mm -hmm. types of brands and piece shapes as well, mm -hmm. just to like get a feel for like other things that we should be looking for besides like the cut that we're very used to yeah. at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you yeah. feel the, the Ravensburger more coming from something else. So. Yeah. Right, okay. Well, go ahead. Oh, yeah, I was just going to mm -hmm. say, uh, yeah. break down to... what you thought yeah. of this puzzle and what you ladies, you and, know, and also, jumped on this? first. I just yeah. want to oh, ask right. who this is. This is, this is Koo. Who's okay. the <laughs> mascot and comes everywhere with us and so uh, Scottish coup, right? He is. Yeah. He's an Elan coup, and yeah. he came from Scotland um, mm -hmm. in 2016 with me. So, <laughs> well, he's the, the mascot. YouTube lo they love anything like this on YouTube. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure Koo here will have a fan he club by the end. Does of the not stream. have an Instagram. <laughs> don't even go there. <laughs> Um, so we, we have a joke on the team because Emma uh, on the team is like the sunshine. Mm -hmm. And anytime something comes out of the box, she goes, it's so cute. And that means we're in for it. Yeah. <laughs> and so today this came out of the box and I went. I did not people were. She didn't. I and I went, it's so cute. And then nobody even took a second to comment on it. We just went. It yeah, was yeah, so yeah, fun. Yeah. yeah. It was really fun. Yeah. yeah talk we love the bright colors. Mm -hmm. We definitely. So we started off with Mari on the grass mm -hmm. at the bottom there. And I started on the sky. Usually, if there's a sky, I take it. Yeah. <laughs> sky, skies and flowers. Um, were you hoping for like landscape or something, or do or are you happy with we illustration? We're happy with this. We have a yeah. policy. We always say whatever comes out of that bag, it does not matter what comes out of that bag. We are going to scream yes, and we're going to go like heck. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Stay wow. positive. We, we yeah. didn't yeah. predict. There's no point in predicting. Yeah. Right. 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 Okay. But it's fun. It is fun to try and guess, but <laughs> we were well, very pleased with yeah. the puzzle. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, I do feel like you're, you know, you're somewhat new then to this whole world. Yeah. So has it taken over your life yet? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you want to start with that? <laughs> has it taken over your life? <laughs> I mean, I would say so. At least the last week, like, I think there wasn't a single day in, like, the last week and a half where I wasn't at Mari's house, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. for at least three hours. <laughs> we were going hard. hard. <laughs> we were training, like, 7,000, 8,000 pieces a day. Right. Yeah. It's wow. Really My roommates were like, yeah. are you traveling? Like, did you just get back from vacation? And I'm like, no, I've just been at Mari. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I know when I was <laughs> last week, like I think there wasn't a single day in like the last week and a half where I wasn't at Mari's house, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. for at least three hours. <laughs> we were going hard. hard. <laughs> we were training like 7,000, 8,000 pieces a day. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's been really My a roommates lot of were like, yeah. are you traveling? Like, did you just get back from vacation? And I'm like, no, I've just been at Mari. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I know the feeling because I remember the first time I competed, we placed like second. And then I was just like, oh no. I was like, <laughs> I'm good at this? Oh, this is a problem. Like, it kind of does take over. You get so excited by it because yeah. you're just like, you did this for years at home by yourself. And you're like, well, this is fun. And yeah. then you realize, wait, I'm good at this? I, like, it's a thing? So, yeah, what was that like for you when you realized that? Well, I, I've done jigsaw, puzzle, but jigsaw puzzles my whole life, and I love mm -hmm. them. But up until last January, the goal was to see how long I could make them last. Oh. And there was just this very hard switch. My partner, who's wonderful and runs stats for us and mm -hmm. is uh, very much a part of the team, mm -hmm. he's not a puzzler, but he's like a, a numbers guy. Yeah. Um, we, re we refer to those as husbands. Oh, so, yeah. okay. <laughs> no, he's a lot more than that. He's, okay. the, he's the, like, the, the mega he's brain. Like oh, okay. Coach. Yeah. Non, the non player manager. coach, okay. I guess is the term in bridge. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, but. <laughs> He had a, what he thought at the time was a brilliant idea was he couldn't stop me from doing puzzles, uh, but maybe if I did them faster, he'd get more time with me. So he said, you know, these ra they race these things, right? And that was the end of that. So thank you, Jim, for the brilliant no, idea. Right? Now he's made it worse. <laughs> so if you're consuming 7,000 pieces a day or something like that, so where do you get your puzzles? What do you do with the ones that you fit? I yeah, mean, because right? it's like a, a hair, you know, a heroin shed? junkie where we have to <laughs> yeah. keep, you know, where do we keep getting it? We um, do a lot of thrifting. Emma's yeah. mastered the puzzles. The, the, like, <laughs> swap. The, the, the mm -hmm. big swap is my 
deal I go in with that. But Emma does the like leave it on your porch kind of thing. I can't. Yeah. Do so that. we live in Cambridge, and there's actually a very flourishing community of like mm-hmm. puzzlers in Cambridge who love to swap through a Facebook group. And nice. like you just yeah. all you have to do is like post a picture, leave it on your porch, and someone will come and pick it up for you and leave a brand new puzzle <laughs> on your doorstep <laughs> for you to do later. Right. <laughs> but really, Amazing. like it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. We we've gotten good at that, but that's small leagues. Uh, yeah. We lucked into the big leagues of puzzle ownership because on our team, the four the four piece Wicked Quick mm-hmm. is Sammy Bromlow, who has one of the most amazing puzzle libraries you will ever see in your life, mm-hmm. and she is the coolest, most generous spirit. So we go to her house, and she's like, "You want to borrow this and this and this and this and this?" <laughs> right before it's nationals, it's like a candy shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when awesome. the when the illustrators were announced for the finals, and we mm-hmm. didn't have any, we couldn't source them. And Sammy's like, "I'm putting a box in the mail to you tomorrow." She just wow. sent us a jacket because she got her mitts on them that fast, and yeah, it was like, right. "Here you go." That's Practice. amazing. And so it's like, yeah. what would we do? Yeah, right, that? right. So Cambridge, you're uh, affiliated with Harvard in any way? No. no. I'm a Yaley. Oh. <laughs> you didn't tell anyone. But any of your neighborhood, no. no. Okay. Well, they know. <laughs> they know. Okay. Oh. Okay. Just I curious. Mean, this is great. We are it's, in walking distance yeah. from Harvard, which is right. Nice. That well, that's why I was wondering. So yeah. Yeah. Valerie works for a university, and we had a couple it's, it's of people up here. Work for universities. <laughs> both people work for both of the guests. Yeah, One yeah. Was Gail, at, uh, Gail and Sarah State both College, work at, yeah, oh. and so of course uh, yeah. Penn State there yeah. and Corvallis. So that's Oregon State. So yeah. the, just a lot of that, you know. So I had to. Ask I do. At I least, would be you know, interested. Or, you know, E. B. Who was up here just a little bit ago? She's in the midst of some research around puzzles and their puzzler community and I would be curious the percentage of people who work in higher ed that just (laughs) happen to be into this because it seems like a lot yeah yeah probably a type maybe maybe yeah yeah Yeah. it's exciting for me like I love coming to this and then seeing people I haven't seen before and then seeing them just like I mean you laying down that you know well our personal records under 20 is like what and so I'm just so excited like what does it feel like to come into this and what's it been like because a lot of folks have been around for a while and you're new to this so what's that been like we're very aware of how new we are. I yeah, <laughs> I was I was at nationals last year. Oh, you were. I oh, was. Sorry. Yeah, okay. and my pair time, like I think we finished in like thirty nine, thirty mm-hmm. third, mm-hmm. with something in the thirties. Mm-hmm. But that was and your so first it, competition, right? You didn't my, know anything. Yeah, you just I had never in. done right. speed puzzling oh, before really? that day. Wow. But okay. I think that was like the first time that I was like. There might be something here. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of, I like this. Yeah, and, like, right? the team that we were sitting next to were so encouraging. Mm-hmm. And, like, we did a lot of, like, cross-table talk and, like, mm-hmm. cheering each other on. And yeah. I just love that, like, also just positive community vibes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think, like, being able to puzzle with Mari now, who's really close, like, mm-hmm. it's been, and our whole team, it's been really awesome to, like... Is that them over that's there? That's them over there. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, like, audience of two <laughs> like, watching <laughs> us, and I'm like... And we're all dressed the same. Yeah. <laughs> what a weird coincidence. What a co- yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, maybe we'll see all of you over here later. That's when we our have plan. a team final, <laughs> right? We hope. Good. We're excited and to see how it goes. Did you compete in the individuals, yes. the prelims yesterday? Yeah, so we'll yeah. see you competing tomorrow afternoon as well. Sure will. So oh, you good both luck. Awesome. You're going you for the trifecta. <laughs> yeah, no, the whole team is. Whole oh, team okay. is, is yeah. uh, three for three, which You're, is Right, nice. right, exactly. That's what, so. Yeah, so you've good, got a lot of puzzles good. to go still. We sure do. Are you ready for two more thousand pieces yet this afternoon? I feel like we it's sure late are. in the day this or something. Like, we go, we go eight thousand pieces hard. a day. This, yeah. is, right, this right. is kind of a break. <laughs> <laughs> You're like more. I need to do more. It are is. You, it is strange. We're talking about keeping the piece count down on the mm-hmm. warm up. Like keep it down, keep it down. And it's like this is weird. It's yeah. just right. like more, more, more. <laughs> <laughs> I do think it's hilarious that you walk out of this room and in the hallway people are doing puzzles. Yeah. And it's practically in the bathroom at this point. It's just yeah. like everywhere in this building. Thing. Somebody's sitting down and puzzling if it's at a coffee table or you know yeah. just all over. And Have you been beautiful. doing that? Yeah, right. That's why yeah. they make flat surfaces, right? <laughs> so many people who love the same thing all in yeah. one place. Yeah, right. It's like summer camp for puzzlers. Yeah, you just all get to hang out and we aim for lots of table space. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I'm so excited for you both, and thank you so much for being on. This was thank great. You. Thank you, yes, guys. And we're wonderful gonna, to have you. Yes, right. we're just gonna good love luck watching with the rest you of the weekend. The other thank three competitions. Yep. <laughs> Do you have any shout-outs to folks who are watching, potentially? Anybody? 
No, I want don't to know. Shout out my partner Robbie, who okay. isn't here this year, but was my pair's partner last year yeah. and really like supported me throughout this whole like speed puzzling journey. So oh, thanks, Robbie. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. And you? Uh, I'll say hi to my mama and to Jim, the the numbers brain. Oh, <laughs> nice. So Jim couldn't come. Jim Jim, Jim couldn't come. Jim usually comes to all the practices and yeah. runs all the numbers. And he does right. things like if we're not finishing quickly enough, um, there will have to be dinner at the end of the round. Mm -hmm. there, were, there was a time where there was a pot of soup waiting on the stove. Mm -hmm. And not only did he say, I won't let you eat until you're done, he took it outside in the rain. <laughs> he said, if you're not done in 20 seconds, I'm putting your soup outside. And then, <laughs> actually, that was your idea, wasn't it? No. There was a pot of soup that was put outside <laughs> to ins get somebody to go faster. <laughs> That's serious motivation there. He is taking the coaching thing to another level. This whole team <laughs> takes it to that level. We are not messing around. We yeah. love this. That's great. Fantastic. Great. We love to hear it. So, yeah, great. I can't wait. We're going to be watching you, and it's so exciting. So, yeah. Thank you. Good guys. luck. Can't Thank wait. you both. Yeah. All right. Nice Congratulations. meeting you, Mario and yes. Emma. Well. All right. Take care. Thank yeah, you, guys. Yeah. And we are coming up on the one hour, 21 20 minute, minute mark. mark. Yeah, so we have, we have left at this thir point. Uh, 39 minutes left in the competition and not many teams. There's still a few. So we've left talked to there. the top three from I that last see. round. And right now we are at, oh my goodness, we've had 92 teams finish. So there are not very many left out there. Roughly seven or probably yeah, seven, seven we think teams, maybe eight yeah depending on who's yeah thinking. yeah i see okay. some more puzzlers heading over we've got mindy whiting and kyle Cosen joining us so welcome welcome thank you thank you how yes. are you guys feeling you placed fifth and it was close yeah, i heard there was good. a missing piece fiasco yeah so they finished i think a few seconds ahead of us really but had a couple pieces missing so oh, um, and they they never found them in the end so who knows well, what they happened didn't. to them were yeah. they connected pieces or they just were i don't think so okay i yeah i think they were two different mm. pieces and yeah Okay, so we're in the bag yeah, that got thrown away or something. Yeah, hopefully maybe. not. I've seen the volunteers have been really good about checking that. Yeah, but they are. Yeah. I don't know. Well, how are you feeling after that finish? Fifth place finish, then twenty-eight minutes fifty-two seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that, it was great. Yeah. Um, I, a lot of the times we're really close on that race, and so we were feeling. I, I don't know, Mindy. I was panicking a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. he saw me. My hands, like at the end, were like, pretty. I'm steady. Yeah. Because at, at the end with this puzzle, it's largely just a, like a dexterity challenge because you see the piece and you know where it goes. It's just a matter of can you get it there, it there fast there. Yeah. enough? Yep. Mm -hmm. So when your hand's shaking, then it makes it harder. Oh to yes, put the piece yes, in. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Have you two paired up before? Is this the first time you're competing in person as so a pair? We we're, we're both from Utah. Go yep. ahead. I oh, assume from the T-shirts. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first time we competed together um, was at the Utah State Championship, um, mm -hmm. and so yeah. And, and we've only September. practiced what three times? Yeah. Since and then? You, did you win the state champ? How did we you did. do it? Yes. Utah? Yeah. Oh, you did. Okay. And then, so you yeah. were the winning pair there. And okay. First and second in solos. Oh wow! Yeah. Really? Okay. So you guys so dominated you like, the <laughs> Utah sense. competition. And then, yeah. Yeah. you'd so pair got, up and just make a yeah, very yeah. formidable right. pair. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was a pretty small competition, but. Right. We got so fun. third place. Megan, she's on our team later today. Okay. So, yeah, we've got a full Utah team and another right behind us. So we're excited well, about that. And who's the fourth yeah. then? Just to name. mention their name. So I think yeah. uh, in, on our team is yeah. Nastia. Yeah. Okay. Nastia. Okay. Well, I, something I'm going to mention, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like you both have been sort of free agents because I've seen you in different configurations. Yes. You finally feel like, okay, we got a Utah <laughs> team now. We, you got some, you know, you're closer to each other. I know, Kyle, yeah. you've traveled all the way across the country to do, yeah. you know, puzzle weekends where you're training with teams and things. Right. Is it nice now to have somebody a little close by that you can get together a little easier? For sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um not just at Utah State, but even during this weekend, I think we've got to know each other a little bit well. I th we're going out to dinner tonight, all yeah. the Utah folks. Yeah. Um, cool. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's nice to have more of a regular couple of people to, to pair with and part, mm -hmm. uh, team with. Yeah. 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 And what about you, Mindy? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I've been on a few different um, teams and partnerships and stuff, mm -hmm. and so, but it was really hard to get together. Like, we'd have to make 
trips and plans to like mm -hmm. go out to Louisiana or for them to come to Utah and that sort of thing. So it wasn't easy to practice with right, right. with someone. But so that's nice to have some people from Utah and to yeah. be able to. You guys got to start a state association. You got to get that going, maybe. <laughs> We've been talking about that. I really? think that's going to be a topic tonight. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're open to it. We'd love to see one in every state yeah. and get more and more people involved. You, with Gray, yes. you mentioned traveling to Louisiana, so I yes. assume you're referring to uh, yeah. Gray Rogers from Shreveport. Uh -huh. You and Gray finished second in the Paris final in 2022. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> smart move pairing up with Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, excellent. So, uh, obviously, that makes you guys... You know, one of the top contenders. Power wow. pairs is what I'm calling them. Yeah. And yep. when we've got, you know, mm -hmm. both team members mm -hmm. dominant. Yeah. So, of yeah. course, the competition will be pretty stiff. But, uh, yeah. you yeah. know, yeah. it'll it'll, it'll be awesome to watch yeah. you two. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, for sure, tomorrow morning. And then, of course, right. your team this afternoon yet. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. still have a three-hour competition. Not that it's going to take you three hours, but you've right. got 3,000 piece, <laughs> yeah. pieces to do this afternoon before we even look ahead to the pairs for tomorrow. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then individuals as well? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. I yeah. placed fifth yesterday. Okay. So um, I'll be moving on. He was yeah. moving on too. Yeah, that so. was 12th in the last round yesterday. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So. Excellent. So yeah, yeah, you still have three full competitions. All three finals ahead of you now. Yeah. This is yeah. Just the preliminaries yesterday and so far today. Yeah. And then the, the big games it's with the money get on the tighter. line. Yeah. yeah the, tougher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think of these times that have been coming in? Because, you know, Kelly and Andrea finished in under 23 minutes. Uh, yeah. That's pretty I solid. I didn't realize that. Yeah. That's yeah, insane. 22 56. It's really fast. Kathy and Jean were 23, I think it was 15, right? 23 15 uh, this morning. I have them, John. And then 23 um, 19 right after that. That's really good. I mean, and under yeah, 25 from, from, seems yeah. pretty strong. Uh -huh. um, and then this last team we were just talking to before you guys came over, they told us their personal best on a buffalo as a pair was 19 minutes. Oh, wow. And I Whoa. was like, oh, no, boy, that's, that's, <laughs> that's something. I was like, you guys are, that's a really good time. Yeah, yeah. That is yeah, definitely yeah. good. So, well, I, yeah. think, I think everyone was relieved with the two puzzles today. I, mm -hmm. I find in uh, a lot of past competitions, the Paris 500 is where some of the harder puzzles show up mm -hmm. because you get a smaller puzzle with more people. But mm -hmm. I, these were definitely easier than yesterday. We were happy mm -hmm. when we opened the bag. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like the image a lot. I feel like it was mm -hmm. um, an easy one to puzzle with. And yeah. It worked well as a pair. Mm -hmm. So, so I mean, yeah, it's Kyle, you mentioned. So you said you were in the the third individual preliminary, and yeah. I don't remember, Mindy. There's I was in the, the first. The first oh. one. Uh -huh. Okay, so you both avoided that plentiful produce middle puzzle that <laughs> did not go over so well. I heard that that was tough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so good for you. That's why I wanted to see if either of you uh, nope. had, had to face that one. No. Nope. All right. Good. I yeah. bought it though, so I can oh. give it a oh, try. You <laughs> <laughs> On your own time. Yes, yes. 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 Exactly. always to compare. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love this. I mean, one of the things I think Robinsberger is, you know, they're 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 definitely thinking ahead with having, you know, sponsoring these big events because I think just the speed puzzler community alone is responsible for a huge portion of sales. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. sure. Well, we don't we, we don't just go and buy one puzzle. We 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 buy like. Lots, lots and lots of puzzles. Yeah, it's I getting know. out of control at my house. I feel like <laughs> I need to so the tone closets it down. And I don't yeah. know if you have yes. an attic or a basement. I'm running out of room. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm pretty thorough looking through the like the catalog that Ravensburger has had over the years, and still mm -hmm. puzzlers are coming up with Ravensburgers I've never seen before to practice with. Yeah, well, we learned yesterday at the panel last night, I mean, there's a good contingent of people that buy through third-party sellers to get the you know, um, exclusive Europe, you know, releases right. yeah. and stuff like that. And I do love it when you sh show up at a swap or something and there's like, where, where, did, where did this come from? I've never seen this one. Um, so, yeah, there are people that just collect them all, you know, they right. get in the catalog and try to get as many as possible. I just checked because I was like, okay, did we, did we have the last finishers? I, or, well, there's a camera. Know, it the looks camera like there's on one more team over there so the that we're watching. The pink, there's a camera yep. watching on that middle row on the far side. Yeah. It looks like there's only two more teams team and we, we're just coming up on the hour and a half yeah, mark here so time. we still have 30 minutes left they these the ladies in pink do they look like they're gonna finish that 
Maybe. In another they're 30? Closing in. I think they yeah. I think Oh, yeah, they'll there. definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think You're so, right. too. We might have everybody finish. So we were just on, prior to this, we were looking at Matt Johnson, Jill Landreth, the pragmatic puzzlers at table 48. <laughs> and I'm work, working on getting this, the names for this these folks. These last... I saw one pair still going at the end of the last one. Did they? Did they make it? Which one? At, at the, the, the end of the last prelim. Did, oh the, no, they did it. Oh they, no. Yeah. Yep. They had a really strong community of people rooting for them yeah, yeah. on YouTube, <laughs> but they didn't make it. They had oh. a few pieces left still. Dang. But we were all so proud of them. For yeah, keeping it was going. fun to watch them going at yep. it. Yeah. They win the endurance award. Yes, yeah. exactly. People were like, "Give them the money." <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish we could give money prizes out like crazy. But right, exactly. our sort of motivation for the bigger cash prizes was to help people to go to Spain. You know, so Makes that sense. was that was the goal there. And are you going this year? Should we expect to see you at we, Worlds? We've got three of us that are looking for a solid fourth before we make the commitment. Okay. Yes. So we'll see. We'll see. It could Are be a full two Utah in team. The three, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Along with Megan, uh, uh-huh. who will be in our team later okay. today. Yeah. Yeah. And it maybe depends on how you do in the team and things like that. Yeah. Three thousand nah. dollar cash prize for the go. team winner. I mean, it's, yeah. <laughs> that would add some incentive, right? That's right. <laughs> right. Exactly. That's why she's saying that she, uh, Valerie Hopes, <laughs> and the, the Jigsaw Puzzle Association, you know, yeah. fo- right. founders. Hope that maybe that would help spur people to right. so I can buy a plane ticket to Spain <laughs> yeah, yeah. now right. uh, with exactly. this winnings. Or a bunch yeah. of other puzzles. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> if they don't blow it oh up. Oh my puzzles gosh, the right. amount of puzzles you could buy with that kind of <laughs> no, like, that would be lovely. Yeah. I, sp- I right. spent most of it on puzzles and I wasted the rest. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, squandered the rest. <laughs> yeah, no, this is great. I've had so much fun. How is the rest of the weekend going for you? Are you exhausted yet? Are you getting through? It's tiring. Yeah. I have a little bit of like headache. I'm like, I need to like decompress before the next. All right, right. We'll, and you we don't have that much time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't let you do that. Yes. <laughs> Whatever it takes, you yeah. know, to chill a little bit. Yeah. Some breathing, meditation. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, I need to do that. Uh, acetaminophen or ibuprofen, <laughs> whatever yeah, it takes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, thank All right. you. All right. Okay. okay. Oh, they finished. Is that the final one? Okay. So it's one, one more, and now they'll switch so there's one the more camera left? over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah this. Oh, so good. that was them over there. Yep. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. We're going to get down oh. there. Oh. I don't think they'll. Yeah. That's that's a lot. Yep. That's Matt now they've got the camera on them. They'll be yep. motivated. They have that about twenty eight minutes. Pressure from the camera. Yeah, twenty seven and a half minutes. You know, <laughs> right. yeah. circling like vultures. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. You're like, okay, I must be close. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we'll oh, let two. you guys go rest. Okay. So right. thank awesome. you so much thank for joining you. us thank for the live stream. Mm-hmm. If you have any shout outs, go ahead. You can say hi to anybody who might be watching. There's two tables next to each other. Oh. Oh, that are still going. Still okay. Going. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. Just shout out to all the Utah puzzlers. It, yeah. It's fun to see a lot more involved. I think we've got at least 12 here this weekend. It's a lot of fun. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And shout out to everyone watching. I mean, I think that's awesome that like so many people are tuning in and mm-hmm. and that it's, the community is growing. I just yeah. think it's awesome. Well, and they're so, so supportive. I love watching it because, it, you know, I try to look at the chat as much as I can, and it's yeah. just great. People from all over the world yeah. are watching right now. Antarctica wow. is, is tuned in. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's great. And they're so, yeah, everybody's like, go puzzlers. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's really, it's very wholesome yes. and lovely. So we're glad you were here. Yeah. And yeah, thanks, thanks for thank stopping you so by. Much. Yeah, yeah, so much. Good you luck bet. All right, good luck for the rest of the weekend. We w- let's do that now. Yeah. In fact, all right. And I want to thank our sponsors, uh, Masterpieces. Dive into a world of captivating imagery and unparalleled craftsmanship with Masterpieces jigsaw puzzles. Each piece is met- meticulously hand drawn to deliver an unforgettable puzzling experience. And Puzzle Warehouse. PuzzleWarehouse.com is the premier destination for puzzle enthusiasts. We offer the largest variety of puzzles in the United States, catering to all ages and preferences. Our commitment to customer customer satisfaction is evident in our user-friendly website, which provides a seamless shopping experience. Additionally, Puzzle Warehouse supports the puzzle community 
by fostering a culture of an enga- of engagement and enjoyment around puzzling, hosting events, and offering a Puzzle of the Month club. We hope to see you soon at PuzzleWarehouse.com. And Ibu. Ibu is proud to be a part of the 2024 U.S. Jigsaw Nationals. Ibu Peace and Love creates puzzles that are always beautiful and tell a story. We collaborate with independent artists from around the world to create designs that are sturdy and sustainably made from 90% recycled board and vegetable-based inks. Learn more about us at ibu.com. And we're at the 1 hour 35 minute mark, and it looks like... Maybe we have two, possibly three teams. No, it's left. four. I just found four. out. Yeah, I just got a report from the floor, and I just realized this has been such a chaotic uh, uh, stream that we, oh, Jeff, if you want to move over, corner, I uh, that we didn't uh, we didn't get Ali on. We <laughs> we didn't have a Ravensburger representative join us because I tell you, it has just been. While well, we had some technical difficulties, that that made a difference. I apologize for we that for the bogged, folks out there. We bo- our internet down got the internet. bogged yeah, down, yeah, right. and so we had a little bit. We're looking at the leaderboard there, and you can find that on the World Jigsaw Puzzle. Uh, uh, championship.org or sorry world jigsaw puzzle.org and look at the 2024 nationals results and yeah you can see how everybody placed we've got 96 people or 96 pairs that are in there and have have finished we have four left we did have a hundred pairs in this round we did fill that last table at the last second um, right but and so, yeah. four teams still out there four yep. pairs out there still, still they're going. all on the other side so that's why it's been yeah, hard, it's for, hard us for us to, us, yeah. to tell to and then with yeah um camera people and mm-hmm. judges kind mm-hmm. of surrounding the tables and, yep. and things that were like oh my there's but four this is there. really amazing when you think of like this many pairs almost everybody it finished in like right around an hour and a half that's mm-hmm. great mm-hmm. and now you know here we are we've got we still have 24 minutes left on the clock we we give people until the two hour time period then we do a countdown and and we end it right at two hours they have to do hands off the puzzle and we'll count pieces if they have any left but you know maybe we'll get there that would be nice. Yeah. Oh, I just was also reminded, uh, I think because we were having issues with the live stream earlier, we should mention the keywords for the raffle maybe again. Sure. Uh, it was San Diego and puzzling. Those were the two keywords. There you don't have go. to worry about lower uppercase or anything like okay. that. But if you want to give them the details okay. on that, yeah, just sure. once more Let since me, we might have uh, missed it earlier. Okay. So offering viewers a chance to win a prize Head to usajigsaw.org, click on the live stream prize banner on the homepage, fill out the entry form, and you can enter keyword puzzling for a chance to win some prizes. You get one entry there, do that, and then you can go back in and enter San Diego for the second, and I believe at least two words there, maybe Mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. because you can uh, enter each keyword once, so we're giving mm-hmm. both of yep. those to so you, you can right enter now. More than one time. Yep. Yep. And we'll announce the winners of the live stream raffle tomorrow during our closing ceremonies, which will also live stream between three thirty and four thirty p.m. Pacific time. And as we said, one entry per keyword, but I just gave you two, Puzzling in San Diego. There's a total of 16 keywords throughout the weekend, so plenty of chances for you to enter. So keep tuning into the live stream. And there's yeah. 100 pairs. Of course, in this round, there was 100 pairs of puzzlers in the earlier round, 50 from each advance of the final. So we will have mm-hmm. uh, 100 of the fastest pairs that yeah. we could find. And they will tomorrow's. be fast because I think in both divisions, the top 50 were under an hour to get a 500-piece yeah, puzzle done. Yeah, about 50 so, minutes tops right? was like the cutoff, and I think. It is a little different, though. And we've talked about this a few times. They're going to be doing a 1,000-piece puzzle while sharing a table. And so they're going to have the same amount of space that they have right now to do that 500-piece puzzle, but it'll be twice as large. And when you figure all the pieces and everything, it's going to be a lot about piece management and using trays wisely and being able to work that space as, as best as they can. And depending on the difficulty of the puzzle... 
Mm -hmm. Of course, that makes a big difference on the times. Mm -hmm. But if the winners were finishing in like 23 minutes Mm -hmm. and they'll have twice as many pieces tomorrow, that would be 46 minutes you know, yeah, yeah, and see, I think it may be harder because there's more is. pieces to choose yeah. from. I was gonna say, usually you can't really just equate Double, it like that yeah. because it's it is a, a degree of difficulty harder when you have that many more pieces. Um, I wish it was that easy. You could just right. say, well, if it's 23, so then it'll be 46. maybe an hour, but or something. right. I think with a, a, a pair that's really fast, um, a thousand piece puzzle, um, I think. You know, hour twenty, hour fifteen is maybe okay, so. a pretty a pretty fast time. I think you know, for my pairs partner, um, if we get under an hour and a half, we're pretty excited. Okay, um, right. And usually that would be a pretty easy puzzle. Um, so I mean. I can't say what that puzzle's going to look like, so I don't really know. I have I I'm going to be probably terrible on predictions with it, but I I think you know we've given them a, a two and a half hour time right. period to do the say. thousand piece. I don't think all of them will finish maybe in no. two and a half hours because no. a thousand will be a lot harder. But we'll see. And uh, yeah, I think we're looking at that that competition will take a little longer, maybe more like an hour, fifteen, hour twenty something for like those that. first but for the I, winner. I to could be, be wrong. Maybe right. the Roy and you know some of these folks are so incredibly fast it may not be that much of a difference that's Maybe true like an hour or something like that, that. Yeah. Sort, well mm-hmm. that is we'll need to tune in and find right, out tomorrow yeah, i'll right. be sitting right here we'll have out. a yeah we'll have exactly. a the bird's next, eye view right and the next live stream is going to be interesting because that's the one contest in the whole event where they're doing more than one puzzle. So we'll have teams in here for the next live stream this afternoon, and they're going to have two 1,000-piece puzzles. And, you know, every competition does things a little differently. Worlds is really switches it up. Worlds gives them uh, two puzzle. Well, in the preliminary round at Worlds, the teams are given four puzzles, and they have to choose two. And then those are the two they get locked in that that's the two you're going to do. Um, here, we're giving them two puzzles. They have to do both. But... We're dictating the order. They can't decide on their own. They're going to give it, be given two bags, one of which, you know, is like, okay, this one will have this color sticker. That's the one you're going to do first. The other one goes under the table. You don't get to look at it. And then as soon as you're done with your first one, you take it apart, grab the second one, take it out of the bag, and that's going to be the first time they're seeing the second puzzle. So part of the reason we're doing that is it's easier to gauge people's progress. If they're doing, if they're letting them choose, and one is different than the other, then it's hard to know like how people are progressing in terms of whether they're winning or not winning or, you know. So by dictating the order, we'll be able to get a better sense of, you know, how they're all faring against each other. And it's kind of a mini race within the bigger competition to see who can finish that first puzzle first and then move on to the next puzzle. And you would think... But of course, not always. Not that the person, always, yeah, that finishes right? that first puzzle, maybe that puzzle played to that team exactly. strength. Exactly. The next puzzle, they may open up and go, "Oh, this is the worst puzzle for right, us." Exactly. And they bog <laughs> down, and somebody right? that com- yep. passes yeah. them. But yep. we don't know, and that's part of the fun. But it does give us benchmarks to exactly. you know, so it's the, yep. the the race within the race there exactly. to finish that first yeah, puzzle. No, that, yeah, that is exactly what it is. Like you don't know just because one of them finished that first puzzle first, that doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> one could be a totally different ball game for them and that's one of the, i mean it's fun at worlds right? right it just adds to the complexity when they're all kind of doing them in a different order right. or different puzzles right um so we're we're simplifying it a little bit i'm sure from the team's perspective <laughs> they're probably going to be like oh <laughs> like hey, why let us pick like can we, can we decide um because you know that would be the ideal right you get to right. look at both and right. go well let's do this one first but now we're we're telling them how they're going to do it, and uh, it'll be fun to see how that turns out. <laughs> so we're coming up on the minute or hour forty-four minute mm-hmm. mark, so about sixteen minutes left yeah. here. You had mentioned earlier, I think, when you were uh, talking to Kyle and Melinda here, Mindy, uh, you mentioned something about members. Maybe yeah, it was a, before sure. that, and. Mm-hmm. We didn't really refer to that, and I did want to follow up at some point. So that's membership in the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association. So let's give us a little, Mm -hmm. because that was very important for getting into the competition here. So people that love this and want to do it, 
you really need to be a member. It's very affordable, yeah. but tell them why. Yeah, it's yeah. Well, so um, members pay twenty four dollars for an annual due uh, or fee or whatever, and you know we try to make that worth their while by providing lots of benefits. You know, puzzle discounts, exclusive puzzle deals. You know, we'll we have the virtual online gatherings that are really popular, and when people come to connect and you know puzzles casually. So we try to offer a lot of benefit for that, and and but also one of the major benefits is if we are hosting events or you know we're doing different competitions around the country is that USA JPA members will get um, like early bird registration access so and it, you know it really came into play with nationals because we sold out in two days and uh, we did not expect that and it was you know the only the members that had access at that point like we gave them a week to get signed up before anybody else could sign up and then it filled up it only, immediately. It only lasted yeah. two days. Yeah. So, yeah, it never got to right. the general public being able to sign. And here we have been announcing, you know, well, it'll go live on the website, you know, a week after, you know, it initially <laughs> opens. And then it turns out you pretty much had to be a member to get into the to get into this competition and register because we filled up so quickly. So that's a lesson mm-hmm. for folks that, right. you know, I mean, you, yeah, at I least mean, to have a shot at it. Right. Even. But hopefully, I mean, our, our hope is in the future we can have bigger venues, bigger events, oh. you know, so... We're working towards it, right, you know. But, every every year we learn a little bit more and you know kind of figure out what works, what's going to work well, and and how to meet the demand. We had no idea so, to expect that kind of. I was going to say so that shows me two things. Mm-hmm. One, maybe your membership has grown. Yes, it's yes, gotten popular. Right. It's a very reasonable compared to what mm-hmm. things are sure. out there in the big world. Yep, They're twenty four dollars yep. a year. Yep. And so your membership has grown because it's so popular. And then just mm-hmm. the speed puzzling just on yeah. in general right. has it's gotten growing. so popular. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like we have, you know, over 1,600 members now. When we hosted Nationals last time, we probably had about 500 members. Right, right. So we've tripled in size yes. in that time. So I think you're right. It's only like, been 18 months. Right, right. Yeah. And, and you know, we did inc- expand this event pretty you know added a third yeah, day we added a third preliminary day. five added, preliminary right, rounds yeah so last time we had 100 individuals total this time we had 300 individuals we had 200 pairs in you know each or yeah 200 this pairs time, total yeah. versus 100 pairs so yeah we expanded and still just you only had up so quickly. 33 teams last time and right. that was all that signed right. up and that now was, you had you to know. cut it off at 50 <laughs> right. just because of the size and of the room and the tables and it went yeah. immediately right. yeah. so you so could have added didn't know what to expect quadruple the yeah, amount right. so so i do think as this community gets more grows and you get more and more uh, people exposed to the sport right. through things like the YouTube and the Twitch stream. Right. You know, we're just going to have to up our game. We're going to have to get bigger venues and more opportunities right. for people to more try to. Judges to yep, and more judges exactly. yeah, oh my. So, yeah, somebody was just telling me, I think Misty was just telling me, what was the name or the table number here? We should say who these folks are. Okay, we can look look them up by. Yeah. You have table numbers there. Todd Brown and Carly oh, and they Peggy, just finished. the best siblings hide the last piece is the name of their pair <laughs> team. <laughs> so that's pretty good. That's amazing. So there's and they're three left on a the table. floor. Yeah. Oh, yes. Let's see. They're sharing a table. I can't tell who they're sharing with. It could be four or six. Um, hmm. It's, who's the group next to him? Was it table six? So these these two tables that are left are on the opposite side of the room from mm-hmm. us. So that's why it's kind yep. of hard. For yeah, us no, to... we can't really see over there. So this yeah. is Matt and Jill from Matt Johnson and Jill Landreth. Okay, and they have about eleven and a half minutes to. Oh yeah, let's see. hope they can d- get it done. I yeah. hope so. I mean, it, it does, does speed it up as doable, we get close. Right? Yeah, yeah, it looks it, doable. It speeds up if they get. Yeah few pieces and then back in that far corner right. as well it looks like there's another team so this you it's know so we fun. just want like, them to finish at this yeah. point and they have it's like you know a cheering section there's yes, still they spectators do. hanging there's, out here to cheer for those pretty, last there ones. is there's a nice little crowd of spectators so hopefully a bunch of you know that's their friends or even if other folks just came in like we want to see these folks f- through to the end mm-hmm. of course the judges are you know it's just keeping an eye on things and trying to be supportive without mm-hmm. interfering. 
still have some pr people wearing press jerseys here in yep. the room. And now we're going to go to table 82, I heard just now. We're almost right. there. So that's far. That's why that's yep. way back yep. in the corner there. So the cameraman's is... keeping an eye on them. So we'll probably yeah. switch is... to them. And here we go. Yep. Donna Sutton and uh, Krista Tigton. Or, oh, sorry, Tipton. And they're the and Peachy Puzzlers. Peachy Puzzlers. So are they from <laughs> like Atlanta or from Georgia, perhaps? Oh, See if we can guess. look that up. Um, and it looks doable for them. We're yeah. coming up on the 10-minute mark. Allie oh, yeah. usually keep makes going, an announcement. Keep going. Looks like they only have about 20 pieces. If they can get a couple in per right. minute, they, they should could do it. be pretty close. Maybe oh, they, have they might a have more, more than the, that. Yeah, yeah, they might have more that are hanging out on the top of the puzzle. They have some, yeah, up on mm -hmm. the other side there. Yeah. Our folks at home can can see and be, you know, judging for themselves if they're going to. But yeah. but we're really hoping that they do. And then in between this broadcast, mm -hmm. yeah, live stream. So we finish coming up at uh, two thirty. Two yep. thirty, mm -hmm. and then the team's final starts at three fifteen. Of course, we'll go on at three. Yeah, we'll yeah. Start about three o'clock. We'll be live at three o five. We'll be live we'll at three o five. So it'll be about thirty minutes in between for everyone to. I'm going to go try to Take, eat some kind of dessert. Yeah. The, oh, I think I require a sweet somewhere in <laughs> sugar. here. I have, <laughs> sugar. Exactly. I have iced coffee in my thermos there. I think I'll be taking a couple of shots yeah, of that here. I need some Diet Coke and Because the next something. round is yeah. three hours. I know. we got to be ready for that, So we'll Jeff. get, we'll get pumped up again. This is, the, this is siesta time. Can you get a siesta in? <laughs> exactly. We're close to Tijuana, so we right? can maybe get a siesta in yeah. here uh, 20 minutes in between sections just so we're fresh and ready to hit the ground because with those teams it's wild there's more noise because now there's four people talking amongst themselves it's not like the individuals where it was just hushed this was a little it was definitely louder i think it'll be even louder with the teams oh, oh yeah it will here. be it will be loud in here <laughs> so look i think they're going to finish I, I am. So, that's, yeah, oh, they have all those pieces. At it's the, dwindling. They only have that 10 pieces or so left, exactly. and they have over eight minutes. I, I'm i going to go out on a limb and guarantee that yeah. they finish here. She could do the five, maybe. It looks like looks like they have six or six pieces left. Oh, yeah, left. they're so close. This is awesome. So are we going to be left with one person, one table on, we'll again see. on each? We'll see. So the... Uh, so the judges yep. are We're starting to go around on and screen there. getting ready to set up. They're starting to yeah. put the oh, names of oh. the teams out. Wait, already. did they have an extra they're, piece? It, <laughs> they're like, see their where feeling? does this go? And there's, that looks, Yay. oh my, so oh, that must nice not work. be a piece there. Great. Oh, no, yeah. All right. So at about an hour fifty two twenty five or yep, something like that, so they there. got they in. Got it in. It. Seven and a half right? minutes to go. Nice. I wonder if somebody was missing a piece and they had it by accident. Maybe it could happen. Yeah. Sometimes you see it on the floor and you think, "Oh, I dropped it," and you pick it up, and then it turns out it belonged it's to the one after or right. next to you. Yeah. yeah. Cost them ten it happens, the other right? team ten seconds. Yeah, maybe. Ideally, you don't. If it does, you know, yeah. Sometimes you feel bad if that happens, but you know. Well, could someone be a little mentioned chaotic. they were. I don't know if it was here on the live stream or someone was telling me during lunch that there's two pieces came up short and they never yeah, found them. Uh, right. And right. so we don't know what happened there. Oh, okay, this seven is minutes left. Okay. That we're looking at. Yeah, it's a. Uh, oh, wait. Table 11. Oh, yeah. Richard Cass and Naomi Cass. Oh. Yep. At table 11. So they got a little ways to go. I don't know. I don't think they're going to finish, Jeff, but. Is there, I can't tell, so is that going to be the last table? The cameraman um, is going over there right now to set up. Oh, there's two tables left. That's guess, what I was but. just seeing. I go, I think on that far, yes, that far side, see a couple of ladies there. Mm -hmm. One has a, something, a red kind of bow on the yeah. back of her hair over there, and then this other cup where the camera just set up. Ooh, I, ooh, yeah, boy, they could maybe tough. do it. Six but minutes they got left. Six minutes. They could six maybe minutes. get that, that done. That would be. I don't know. That would be nice. I'm curious how. Uh, 
folks are doing in the chat. I finally got a good enough Wi-Fi connection that I can actually see the chat. <laughs> I feel terrible I haven't been able to interact with all of the people watching out there, but I are, we've been having Wi-Fi issues, so, you know, we're, we've been struggling a little bit, but it's gotten better now. Good. And, uh, and we'd love to hear from you. Hopefully you're enjoying watching. And just Telling to go, all your friends, check it out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've uh, sent out group texts with the link you, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and posted yeah. myself. Now, just to recap a little bit here before we uh, wrap this one up as we mm-hmm. come up on the five-minute mark, and I know uh, the that Faith the, the, is going to make some an folks, announcement. Yeah, yeah, that some folks maybe have joined us and were, you know, mm-hmm. past when, when some of the first. So Kelly Walter and Andrea Peng finished first in this second preliminary, 22 minutes, 56 <laughs> seconds. And There's here's five Allie. minutes left. Oh, it's a. Uh, it's your five minute warning. All right, it's Faith Taylor making that announcement. So thank you, Faith. Mm-hmm. And then coming in second, and we interviewed a little while ago, Yvonne Foyt and mm-hmm. Evie Karen, the Pony Bee and uh, Ivana Corn yep. team <laughs> with the colorful uh, headgear. Second, 24 17. So they were only like, what, 31 seconds behind or something. Yeah, Something some close like, finishes yeah. we've been having in these divisions. It's really tight. And then third place was uh, Mari Black and Emma Pan, who we talked to. They were so mm-hmm. fun. Uh, from the Boston area, Cambridge, they mentioned. <laughs> 26 minutes, 33 seconds. That's why they're wicked quick was their uh, <laughs> yeah, was a team name. It. You called it. I you said, said oh, they've got to be from they're Boston. Boston. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> wicked quick. <laughs> or Bostonians. Yeah, fourth, that's Fourth right place, one. Becca Taylor and uh, Kelly Buer. They were finished in 27 minutes, 32 seconds. Fifth was uh, Melinda Whiting and Kyle Cosen, who we talked to a short time ago, mm-hmm. 28.52. And then just five seconds behind them was Josh Traeger, Jeffrey Scott, 28.57. And so they'll all get little awards or no not not this time we wait till the finals till the six we don't do that for the preliminaries Mm -hmm. so this is the second preliminary and we're three and a half minutes to go here but just recapping a little bit of that i love this in the chat people like that was a bit hectic for a while but it's calmed down i think they were talking about the chat but it's the same here (laughs) yeah well (laughs) it was like chaos in here for a bit there at the beginning Oh, and when everybody's just puzzling so quickly, you're like worried about catching it on camera and being able to share it with all of you. I will tell you that, you know, all Three of this minutes. is being recorded. So if you missed any earlier when we were having some connectivity problems, didn't affect our recording at all. It should all get sorted and eventually be, you know, up and available to go and view later and, and not have any issues there. So um, hopefully we can make sure that's all straightened out. But Here's hoping it doesn't happen again. That's a little <laughs> yes, stressful exactly. for us when we start having wow. connectivity issues. But, but yeah, I, I love that, you know, one of the things I, I, you know, I even like to go back and watch because I'm so focused when I'm talking right. that half the time I don't really get to see, like, how are people doing it? You know, like, you went back and watched the 2022 live streams. Yeah. And, you know, what did you learn from that? Did you have any takeaways? I feel like you know way more this time (laughs) around, Jeff, than you did last time where it was new to you. Yes, certainly. Mm -hmm. I had never been or Mm -hmm. seen speed puzzling before. I mean, I had puzzled, but just casually, you know, with my family. So I learned a lot. You know, I'll admit a lot of it was to see how I did and, you know, where <laughs> I could yourself, where yeah. I could improve, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. my radio past. You know, okay. you'd always tape yourself and listen to yourself back sure, and you yeah. get a much better mm-hmm. critical ear when you're like not doing, you know, it's yeah, really hard yeah. to judge while you're doing yeah, it. Yeah, so a lot yeah. of it was for that. But I learned a lot of the folks. I got to rewatch interviews with the mm-hmm. winners and mm-hmm. second and third yep. place people. I, that was really yeah. fun, too. And I'm like, OK, now I know who these people are really yep. before they just came up and I didn't know them You're from right, Adam, right. you know, and they sit <laughs> yeah, down and we're yeah. trying to, you know, yeah. fortunately you did, but I didn't. So I wanted mm. to be way more up on it right, this time. Right. So rewatching all that and having a yeah. fresh in my mind, just yep. I w- specifically waited till about the last week. Nice. So it yeah. would all be fresh in my yeah. mind again, but that was always my strategy yeah. was like, nice. I need to rewatch right. all that video 
I rewatched some, I will admit, like, I, I feel bad, like, when, you know, Emma was up here earlier and was like, well, I was here in 2022, the and name, I got 39th, and I'm like, the name was I familiar, I remember them all, but you know? I didn't pull all the numbers and memorize <laughs> right, them. Right, I mean, yeah, you know, it's yeah. too many to There's people so many to just people. go through, yeah. you know, 100 people in the room, and it's like, yeah, I don't remember if you were here two a year and a half ago or not. You yep. know, a little bit of too much time. Yep. We're in the final. Okay, minute. yeah, I was gonna say we're getting down there, so we're gonna forty we're gonna seconds go to Allie left in a little so bit here for our final countdown. Ali Krasny, and uh, on the yeah, and then we'll just be back stage. for a couple more seconds before we're we'll off for the wrap it a little up. break to the and next then, live stream. Yep. Yep, and then the live stream for the. Uh, team right. final the, no preliminary this is the last preliminary yeah there we go 15 we seconds go. left yep Allie's up. all right everyone we've got 10 seconds left we will start a countdown at five four three two one hands up Great job, you guys. Good work finishing up. Wow, way to stick it out. We got so close. Great perseverance. That's the hardest part. So great job, everyone. Um, and we will do a couple of announcements here in just a few minutes. Uh, hang tight. And we want right, to thank yeah. everyone for watching the live stream of the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association's second pairs preliminary heat. Now it's all finals right. after this. It gets it, real now, Jeff. Money we're is on the line. <laughs> yeah. Money's on the line, exactly. Val. So, yeah, uh, it's gonna. Now we're headed into finals the rest of the weekend. We've got one this afternoon with the teams, and two tomorrow with the pair and individuals, and then closing ceremonies. So I can't believe it. We're half done. Yes, basically. we are. Yes. Yeah. The, so the four team finals start. Starts in about a half hour or yeah. so. We'll from be back now. at about three oh five. We'll be on at three and then start broadcasting Broad at three oh five. So we hope you'll join us for that. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks everybody.